Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. He's busy getting ready. I've just had the, the coldest shower ever. And Dan's not feeling too good today, are you, babes? Bad stomach. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't get off the toilet. I feel all right in myself. Just tummy troubles. Might have been the Donna Kebab thing I made you last night. It must have been. <laughs> I don't know. There weren't nothing dodgy in it. So not sure what we're up to. Uh, we're just going to go and get ready and see how the day goes. I use my shampoo again. I ain't got any shampoo. You're welcome to. Is it cold? No, it's reasonably warm. No way. I literally didn't even it's warm have. Now. Is it? Well, it's not terribly busy. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there are Sainsbury's just a bit further on. It's funny how they have supermarkets next door to each other. I'd, What's prefer, point? I'd prefer Sainsbury's. Well, I prefer Morrison's because it's from my hometown. Mr. Morrison was born in Bradford. Um, yeah, let's just go get. What do you need? Bread? Uh, water. Yeah, a cup, just, just a few bits. Okay. Salad. Nice. Healthy food. Okay. You'll be pleased to know you haven't got to buy me a bag. I remembered it. <laughs> First time ever. We always forget our bags. Is everyone else like us? Forget the bags. We have hundreds in the van, but we yeah. never remember to bring them with us to any shop ever. What, you want me to record you picking up some tomatoes? Okay. Thank you, look. Mini cucumbers. Rabbit food. I've got to show you this, guys. Morrison's are good for doing wonky stuff, and you get it so much more cheaper. They're What's fine. wonky stuff? Oh, they might not be perfect shape, but they're, they're fine. Absolutely fine. All right. Morrison's is good for that. Reject. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. They're there for my salad. Well, exactly the same thing. It's, it's a bag of potatoes and a bag of potatoes. <sighs> Even not. your onions look like potatoes. <laughs> what you got your eye on? Well, I've noticed that it's three for six quid. Yeah, it's I quite think we'll good. get some of them. Some of them are all right. I quite fancy shredded duck. I'm okay. That for a long time. As long, really, as I can do them in the oven. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Spicy three bean enchiladas. Mmm, sounds nice. No, I'll probably just. Yeah. <laughs> I'm boring. I might try this because I don't know what it is. I was thinking to get bolognese. But has anyone ever heard of that? Spaghetti pomodoro. It looks um, like spaghetti bolognese-ish. I think that might be a cheese, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure. It's got a regatto cheese on it. Oh, okay. I think, yeah, six pounds, three meals, sorted. Oh, Dan's favourite section. <laughs> Anything good? I've got a bad stomach, so I don't want to risk anything which is on its yeah, last day. On its last legs. <laughs> oh. No trifle. Wow, you must be poorly. Oh, bless you. Me and Dan's favourite section. We love sweeties. And I've just spotted this. Oh, how wonderful. My favourite. Where's he gone? Oh my god. He told me he was poorly today. Honey! <laughs> you told me you 
is poorly today. Yeah, yeah, for tomorrow. <laughs> Damn the birthday aisle. Which reminds me, it's my little sister's birthday today. It's Robin's birthday today. Yeah, happy birthday, Robin. Still yeah. never met you. Happy birthday, Robin. Hope you have a lovely day. What are you after? I'm just looking. You're in the women's section? I'm not in the women's section, no, I'm, I'm in the man's section. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> what are you stressing about? There's a Sainsbury's next door. If we'd have gone to Sainsbury's, we could have tried the new Marmite peanut butter. You've been dying to try it, haven't you? And I don't think they have it here. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh. Oh, no, they've just changed packaging. Yeah, I want to try Marmite peanut butter. If anyone's tried it, let me know if it's any good. Check this section out, guys. How yummy. Babe, do you want some cakes? Oh, <laughs> look at the nice selection they have. Yeah. Cake will make it better. Yeah, I've got a bad stomach. Maybe just four eclairs. Just four today. <laughs> Let's have a look. They're alright, honestly. They're alright for a pound. Babe, look what I've just spotted. Your face, the excitement. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's all done a kebab meat. <laughs> Let's have a look then. Heating instructions. Ten minutes in the oven. Cool. Or pan fry. Let's have a look at the front. Done a kebab meat. Happy man. I got a lot of stick last night by the way. In last night's video. Everyone, what, everyone what calling was last, me a tight What was last night's video? It's where I won't give you 20, 20 pence to bang into the tree stump. Oh really? Yeah, the amount of people saying I'm tight, unbelievable. Wow. Who remembers these when they were kids? I don't remember them being called that. We used to just call them ice cream cones. Do you remember these, babe, when you were a kid? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My kids loved them though. Oh, now what are you doing? What? What is that? Snack for tonight. What? <laughs> Can I have one? That's a birthday cake. No, two! No! <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've just spotted what you've done. All right. <laughs> Don't matter. Naughty. Matter. You're naughty. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, bless him. Need to get some bread, but I just need a small loaf today. 45p, that'll do. How strange. Beetroot brioche rolls. It's a bit different. So, are we done? I'm bored. Yeah, man. Bottle of water and I think we're done, aren't we? Yeah, man. Back down the crisps aisle. What do you fancy? I'm just looking for something new and different to try. Well, just as I was walking past it, I spotted these. Mar Marmite crisps. Yeah, not new. No. They're not new. All right, let's have a let's see what we got. These are new, but we've tried these, haven't we? Yeah. I enjoyed them. I thought they were yummy. Yeah, they do actually look nice. They look really nice, actually. <laughs> Muchos. Shall we try them, though? We could try them. The price is ridiculous, aren't they? But <laughs> let's would try you, them. Would you prefer smoky chilli chicken or sour cream and onion? We'll try the chilli. Okay. Ridiculous price. I'm so sure they're some. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Bottle of Yorkshire water, please, darling. All the way down here in the south, <laughs> we still have the best stuff from Yorkshire. How much is it? It's only a pound, that's good, isn't it? 
from Yorkshire. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> I love coriander, guys. Love it. Thank you, baby. You're the best ever in the whole wide world. That wasn't bad. Thirty-one pounds. Wow, it's good. More reasons to shop at more reasons. <laughs> That's the slogan for the supermarket. I see what you did there. Hey, honey. Mini punch. <laughs> Oh, the worst bit of every shopping trip is then having to unload it and try and squeeze it in somewhere. I hate it. <laughs> Where am I going to put all this? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Not my fault. <laughs> that was a little bit tight. You did well there, babe. It's always a problem. You come to a supermarket early so that you can park something as big as this. By the time you get out from your shopping, the car park's full and you can't get out. There's people park right next to you and you squeezed in. I think we're all right now. Where are we off to? It's just six miles away. It's just a lay-by where trucks park at night. Um, way I think is if trucks park there at night, it's going to be safe and no one's going to say anything. Yeah. And hopefully there'll be a good reception for the football because if there isn't, we'll be moving again. <laughs> That's really important today for you, isn't it? It is. <sighs> Just had a little bit of road rage from the guy behind us. <laughs> I thought he was going to get out to us. <laughs> he was in the wrong lane. And because I cut him back up again, they didn't like it. He shouldn't have been in that lane. Right up my bum. The weather's still not too good today, is it? I think we're stuck in again today. I don't mind being stuck in. We're living. <laughs> no, but I mean, we're not, we're not doing much exciting. I think you've got um, a video you might be planning to do today. I've got some editing to do and I might make my um, Brit Stops review video. I might not, I'm not sure. I don't feel very well, I'll be honest. Yeah. So I don't know, I might just lay down and do a bit of editing. I'll look after you. Thank you. This is where we're parking tonight. Looks alright. Yeah, I'm happy with it. That's the true test whether we can get a signal, isn't it? Because we struggle back here. Yeah, anyone else with motorhomes, tell us, do you have trouble with signal at the back? It seems to be much better at the front than the back, I don't know, it's obviously something to do with the box around us. But yeah, seems as if it's going to be alright, we're going to have football tonight. You must be delighted. I am. Dan's just there to in yesterday's video when we went to the pub. We have took out some outtakes out of that, ain't we babe? It was funny. We're taking out some bits we're not showing. <laughs> if only we could show the yeah. outtakes, it'd be so funny. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a drink. You start acting silly. Don't look at me, I was... <laughs> you. I've just put together a meal for Dan. He's not very well today. He's in bed. Aren't you, darling? Oh, bless you. I've, I think, think you're more much. poorly than you even think you are. I'm sure I'll be fine enough to eat this. Enjoy. Looks lovely. And again, I've got salad. It's getting boring. I've got to be quiet. Shh! Dad's watching football. But they've scored four minutes in already. Kate has scored, it's 1-0, one 1-0, nil. One nil. it's only five minutes gone, woohoo-hoo! Shhh! I'm going to go and get the kettle on. So 
So guys, I'm going to call it a day. Dan's in the bedroom watching football. I'm going to enjoy a coffee, watch some paranormal videos on YouTube as I do. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow, see what the day brings. I shall get Dan to say goodbye because football's very important. Night night guys, see you tomorrow.